It's the second day of the Summit of the Americas in Trinidad and Tobago, and Venezuela's President Hugo Chavez is once again in the headlines. On Friday, he had a handshake with President Obama, and now, before cameras were leaving a meeting of South American presidents with Obama, he stood up and gave the American president a book. The, the book is The Open Veins of Latin America by Uruguayan author Eduardo Galeano, and it focuses on the history of Latin America with Europe and the United States. Now, the summit, after this meeting, American officials confirmed that Cuba was once again a point of discussion, South American president asking Obama to lift the embargo on the Caribbean island, and Obama replying that he's willing to start a dialogue with the Cuban government if the Cuban government is willing to adopt, uh, to make changes and to gear its policy towards democratic practices. That's part of the discussion. As I said before, all these meetings will be held at closed doors, but we'll, see, we'll have an opportunity just at the beginning to uh, see the leaders before they go into the sessions. Today, Saturday, will be the group picture day, one of the mementos of uh, the summit. But there is talk of a different environment, a different mood. Uh, Latin American delegation saying that they do feel a different approach from the United States, that they uh, are beginning to sense that it is a sincere message by President Barack Obama that he's willing to listen, that he's willing to act as a peer, and not uh, he's not come to tell everyone else what to do. So it seems that the summit, a summit that many criticize because they believe not much comes out of it, might be heading in a different direction, and the relationship between the United States and Latin America might be going in a new route. Juan Carlos López. CNN, Trinidad en Tobago.